So I'm Nicolas Silence. I uh, I'm presenting a movie called Geneva. Um, Geneva comes from um, Geneva in Romanian, and it's also the song of the movie Geneva, and it means someone. Um, so it's all about like this lost in translation with two Roma guys I met. Uh, in a bar next to the train station in Geneva, and I asked them to reenact their lives uh, in front of a blue screen uh, that I set up uh, at the art school, Geneva Art School. Where did you live in Berlin? When you I stayed? used to live in Prenzlauerberg, okay. in Westwalderstraße. All right. Yeah. For how long did you stay? Uh, almost three years. Okay. And well, this is the first time for the Berlin International Film Festival, though, that you're here. Yes. And have you ever been here as a visitor to the festival? No. No. Okay. Yeah. And have you seen anything at the festival so far? Did you get the chance uh, to go to any yeah. movies or experience the festival? Uh, yes, of course. I have, uh, I, I've seen almost all the movies from the Forum Expanded program, mm -hmm. uh, as well as I'm going to see tonight uh, a film from the Forum. Mm -hmm. Well. In your movie, something I wondered about is how much is fiction and how much is reality? I mean, for sure we see the people act in front of blue screens or green screens actually, but... It's blue. Is it blue? Yeah. Oh, it was blue. Okay, I thought yeah. in my memory... It's it a sort blue. of weird blue that is actually not a proper blue for, um, for, uh, for, for special effects. Oh, okay. But, well, you see the people act in this special setting and they are reacting what they actually experienced, right? Or is it mm -hmm. stories that were created? Fictional stories? No, I, I mean, like, I, I mean, we, we filmed the, 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 the movie in two parts. Let's say there was the filming and there was the editing. Mm -hmm. So for the filming, we did not understand what they were saying. Okay. And for the editing, we put this voiceover to understand what they were actually saying. Uh, so for the filming, it was a kind of experiment where we um, asked them to, to reenact some of their uh, everyday life uh, adventures. <laughs> um, uh, in, where they, they are playing all the, all the roles, you know, like, like sometimes they are the son and the, and the mother, sometimes they are the client and then the, the escort. And it's, it, it all has to deal with their own reality, so it's a kind of, um, of let's say, an experiment that offers a kind of experience for the viewer. Mm -hmm. But wasn't it quite adventurous to shoot a movie and not be able to understand what the people are actually saying in front of the camera? It's an experiment. Okay. <laughs> there was the excitement about it as well. Uh, well, the, it's, uh, it's a film that is like quite spontaneous. Like um, one day for some reasons I pushed I, I push the door of this bar when, where I found them and instead of uh, taking their home to, to have a shag that would be like the normal way to deal with them, I uh, offered them to make a film. Okay. And, and I told them, well, come with me and I set up the studio and I, uh, and I asked them to, 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 to tell me more about them mm -hmm. in front of the screen. But did you find out later if those were real stories that they were telling? Or were they were, it was the stories they are telling. Okay. I don't know if they are real or not. Or maybe I know a bit more than you, but, mm. but still. I was just wondering because there's also this point where someone gets killed in the movie. Well, where they reenact how someone is killed and I was wondering if that really took place. They decided to reenact some scenes as well. Okay. When, when we asked them for the, from their memories. So mm -hmm. uh, I do not know if it is uh, real or not. Okay. And when you worked together with them, how did you communicate? Then you spoke French with each other or what? We spoke a bit of French and they, uh, one of them uh, spoke a bit of Spanish. Mm -hmm. So between the two languages, we, can, we could find a, a way to uh, at least barely understand each other. Mm -hmm. 
And what made it so interesting for you to take these people into this movie, to have them act out their experiences? Why, why did you choose for that? Um, well, it's a matter of circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, on the one hand, we were, uh, I, I was, uh, I, I was uh, doing, uh, I mean, we were doing a sort of workshop at Geneva University in front of this blue screen. So actually the display existed before. Uh, and I thought it was uh, really interesting to, to take something uh, from the reality and to put it and to, to experiment the same kind of things in front of the, I mean, it is their own uh, experience in front of this uh, blue screen. Um, and at the same time, I heard about them. And so I brought them in the studio for one night. Mm -hmm. Well, the blue screen to me also it gave me the feeling that something can be projected onto them, that they sort of themselves become the canvas for bigger ideas. I mean, f to me, for example, I had the feeling there was an example for, well, people coming to other countries because they live in poor circumstances, as the one guy says, that he has to leave because he's very poor, and how they then live under even worse circumstances in other countries in, for example, Italy, France, Germany. Mm -hmm. And so I had the feeling that they themselves became sort of a blue screen. Um, maybe I have a small story mm -hmm. that like, um, you know this movie called The Wolf of Wall Street yeah. by Scorsese? Uh, when the, the team came to, to shoot in Geneva, um, the, the bank of the story, the bank where, where uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is putting the money, still exists. And the bank decided to, to, like, to use some kind of wood in front of the bank to make sure that they don't shoot the actual bank mm -hmm. in Geneva. And uh, someone told me that uh, Scorsese would have said something like, uh, well, you know, like living in Geneva must be like living in front of a blue screen. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think this idea is also related to, to the place it has been mm -hmm. shot in. But would you see your movie also as a comment on certain movements, for example in Switzerland, that want to close the country to people coming from other countries? Well, of course I'm living in Switzerland and I, uh, and I have my own opinion about the about the old policies, I mean the old policy, but um, I would say it's a, it's a command from the side, it comes, uh, so it's just uh, stating something about these people uh, uh, living there as a kind of alternative place from which they are, they, they are waiting uh, a lot for. And mm -hmm. Uh, we can do it again, maybe. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> um, well, <laughs> so um, yeah, I think I, I think they are they are expecting a lot from the place, and of course, the blue screen is a kind of uh, answer to this or or a question. Um, but uh, it's uh, less than a simple opinion, it's more something like a comment about this uh, policy. And of course, it's, it's all linked, it's all the same, same period. Mm. Are you still in contact with the main actors? Do you know what they're doing at the moment? Uh, yes, I mean, like one is back to Romania, and the other one uh, was still in Geneva when I finished the film. So mm -hmm. I showed him the film. Okay. What did he say? Uh, I was a bit afraid of showing him the film because I thought he was not realizing what happened that night, that we, we, we were uh, drinking and, and playing and dancing and, you know, all the scenes, they are actually uh, between dances. Um, and uh, I, we, we sat in an in a, in a empty cinema, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. And at some point, when the when this uh, scene of the the, the, the client comes, um, it, it 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 took my arm and say, well, you know, um, this is wrong, or something like that. Something I understood like this is wrong, and then 
at the end, he told me, well, you can delete it and make me a DVD so I can show it to my family. <laughs> okay. So what he meant was, it is wrong that it's in there or it is wrong that those things happen? I don't understand what he's saying. Okay. <laughs> Um, apart from that, did you, did you screen the movie so far here at the festival? Not yet. Not yet. It's on Wednesday. On Wednesday. What do you expect? How will the people react? Do you have any expectations? Um, I know somehow how, how people can react. You have, uh, uh, I, I guess there is like different kind of reaction. You have this uh, sort of uh, formal reaction, like what is fiction, what is documentary, blah, blah, blah. Then you have the ethics uh, reaction, like, well, is it really ethical to show them this way? And what does it bring to them? Or uh, I think you have a third option, uh, which is, uh, why didn't you put subtitles? It, 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 why did you put this voice? And so I think the whole thing is so much in between that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit, uh, it, it can be a bit confusing. Okay. What would be the reaction you wanted people to have? If you already know that there are those three types of reactions, is there one that you would wish for? Yes, maybe I can learn something how to make the film better. <laughs> okay. Well, I wish you a very pleasant first screening then with a lot of interesting questions <laughs> out yes, of the expected ones. And I wish you a lot of fun at the festival. Thank you. Thank you.